So today I'm here at the Old Mill Subway and you see the Old Mill Inn. It's uh, an old, old hotel and uh, resto bar as well. I mean the resto, it's a fine dining uh, place and you see uh, this uh, big condominium here and this is the subway here at Old, old Mill subway there and we are under the subway station for our um, for our uh, kayak and cuddle activity with Lee Ed's group uh, we have a free parking there so that's where my uh, car is parked and we are waiting for uh, the others for final instructions and before we go for our canoeing uh, the uh, Humber River uh, behind these uh, bushes here so you will be hearing more from me so before the uh, activity we have here a check-in line that gives us instruction it's very well organized so it's not really chaotic there may be some people here but uh, of course it's really organized so you see the subway running there and this is our uh, embarkment area we actually have uh, this uh, registration here with the consent with the registration forms there being signed and to be submitted to the organizer so we're just waiting for more before we are about to start there's another subway coming look at that subway at old Bill subway station exciting it's a beautiful day and it's gonna be kayak or canoeing in the humber river of toronto so here are some of the kayaks and the canoes that will be used during our activity today it's really exciting. There are three seat uh, kayak there. Uh, there are single seaters, two seaters, and there's a canoe over there. There's, there are, these are the canoes, and here are the kayaks. Three seaters. There are two seaters and single kayak, uh, single drivers. And there are also some boards here. Anyway, so they're tested and they are really. Uh, good to be used for the uh, activity today. So again, here is the Humber River Kayak Canal Sup and uh, that's where the registration is before we disembark and go to that uh, boat launch there. So there's the group uh, landing themselves waiting for the final instructions, waiting for our company before we will be So here you would see the uh, belts, I mean the uh, safety gears that we are about to use. Uh, of course there are various sizes from small, medium and large. They are for adults and for kids. And this is the truck for the uh, organizers and the staff. And the more people are coming. So we are almost about to start. Look at the beautiful uh, old mill there again. So, Anyway, I have to sign up for a while and we'll give you more updates later. So, when you have the chance, come and join us for another kayak or canoeing. And again, there's another subway going to Old Mill Subway. It's a beautiful day today, sunny as you can see. And we will be in the wilderness kayaking and canoeing in the Humber River so that's the name of the uh, business or the organizer and this is uh, the group who's uh, going for the kayaking okay showing you more before we start 
can see we are already uh, start preparing for the uh, puzzles. That's the way where we will be uh, going later. Okay, this is it for now. I'll show you more when we will be in the waters. So here we are. I am with my uh, cano mates here, Alex at the back and Lena in front. So let me just change the camera. That's Alex uh, doing the uh, uh, rear driving, who is uh, more challenging, they said. Uh, who has the more experience has to stay at the back. The front, who is Lina and me, there's Lina. <laughs> there's Lina. And me at the center uh, are considered more on the beginner side. So, anyway, we're doing our canoeing now. And uh, our other group mates are already there. Apparently, we're gonna go in the center because it's shallower water. So here we are on the other, I mean on the right side of the Humber River and just enjoying the beautiful day, beautiful sun, such a beautiful day. So we're sure we're going to enjoy this and actually we're enjoying it now. So hear from us more a little bit later, we'll just have to do some paddling. Otherwise my partners here will be complaining that I'm not doing my, my share of paddling. <laughs> okay, see you more later. So the water here is not really that deep. It's uh, I think four to five feet. You can see the water here. I do not know if you could see it. It's quite dark there. And uh, see the sceneries. You see um, driftwood, you know, like uh, of course, uh, dead trees and they're on the water but for some they use this as art piece and it's a good uh, it's a good uh, scenery too for others look at this driftwood here and see it's not really that uh, deep as you see the water is shallow uh, there's no water in the middle there see there's another driftwood and it's uh, it adds to the scenery whether you like it or not, it's a good art work. Oh, see there, there are turtles I see on the side. Look at the turtles on the side. There are two turtles sunbeaming. Turtles on the right. And there's a guy going about to do some fishing. So such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, day. Okay, you will see more as we go along. We are approaching the uh, Yacht Club or the Marina, maybe in 200 meters, uh, you will see more of the boat. And uh, this quite uh, wide part, wider part of the river. And actually during fall, you would see lots of salmon here uh, running, I mean like uh, swimming back or uh, you know like uh, they're swimming against the flow of the water uh, against the current of the uh, river for catching so that's other thing to see to expect during uh, the fall season and I see some fish uh, I don't know like a fish cage or um, maybe what do you call that oh, whatever that's I think for some fishing purposes there on the side. See, there's a little fish front. It's like a little uh, place you could say for three or for, for uh, campfire maybe or for uh, just enjoying. Look at that! Such a beautiful scenery here. Alex, how are you doing there at the back? Man, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Great, great, great. And how about you? It's very good. <laughs> There you go. Same oh, here. On your left, there. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know how you call that kind of a duck there. Um, a loony. <laughs> it's a loony, you're right. Wow. Oh. Look. Oh, look at that. Our, uh, <laughs> some of our group mates are faster than us. And they are going for a race, kinda. Oh, <laughs> trying to get out. Oh, I see. 
while we are enjoying our uh, sceneries here. You know, the beautiful people there. And sometimes you will see some uh, good, beautiful birds there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so some of us are not really that uh, good in kayaking or canoeing. Some are beginners. <laughs> Group made there, but we're good. We should be good. So this is here on the right. You see some uh, motor boats. Of course, some people are enjoying their boats when the water gets deeper. Uh, marina. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All I can say. See? Those buildings there you see, I think they're in... Uh, this, this, are, this should be downtown? No, 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 not downtown, but uh, to the gardeners, I think, those buildings there, you see, at the end. Anyway, look at this scenery here. Who would say that you are in Humber River and uh, that's in Toronto? <laughs> it's like uh, you're not in Toronto. <laughs> okay, let me help my teammates here. So... To continue our expedition. <laughs> Not really. It's just a fun uh, canoe. Look at this. Um, you see, you see, and hear birds chirping. And uh, if you are lucky enough, you would see some other bigger birds that are uh, regular in this uh, place, Humber River. And uh, not only birds, but also some other animals. Uh, of course, the turtles. Maybe you would say. It's like a little beach, right? Mm hmm. I agree with you. Look at that. <laughs> with, uh <-huh. laughs> beach with the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, so it's fun, and you see ducks, geese, bear. In the corner. And you see some people relaxing. That's a beautiful place. Let's check them. You see there Alex again, of course. And uh, it's just Lena's back <laughs> because she's in front. <laughs> there you go, she's waving it. <laughs> okay. The water is really uh, serene, you know, like it's not, there's, there's no wave. Really cool. The water right now is not that cold. Uh -huh. Oh, you could take a dive, eh? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Look at that. Our team, our group is just enjoying it. There's a mother and son there, or mother and daughter, I don't know, with the geese flying under the tree. Let's check them. And see more people there? No. There are no uh, characters or characters in the back so far. I think we're the last in our group. But anyway, we'll go faster. I'll be joining them in the party. Okay, guys, I do not know if you hear it, but somebody is playing uh, harmonica, I think. Oh. Harmonica? Yeah, it's a harmonica. Are you sure? Mm. Or flute? No, it's a pan flute. A pan flute? I, yeah, okay, pan flute. It's a different uh, musical instrument, and he's playing uh, a classical music i think alex knows the yeah, song okay thank you such a uh, uh, yeah look at that the south american music that he's playing thank you gracias oh i thought she, he will speak back in uh, spanish <laughs> Maybe it's not. Look at the sky. Okay. Look at this stunning, stunning view. Haha, <laughs> Alex here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there are houses on top. This is really such a beautiful. 
day is really beautiful though. I forget my time. But it's okay. Birds flying. Birds chirping. Nature's sandwich. And more loonies under the tree. Huh. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful uh, day today. Okay. You'll see more. In a different place. Exactly. That's right. Uh, there was some America. <laughs> there was some Mars that we passed by a while ago. <laughs> if uh, you want to kill the time, you could go there. Uh, there's a Mars there. I uh, will somewhere there. Yeah, it's a Mars. It's it's lighter. Uh, there's another here that we will be passing by. So if you want to kill time, you just you could just go there and uh, paddle around. You cannot really see lots of stuff anyway, but you're just being curious. So lots of birds chirping, lots of wildlife there. I we saw turtles again a while ago, and we saw a blue jay. And look at those three geese swimming. I mean, floating on the river. Such a good stuff to see. I wish I could uh, zoom my camera so you would see the three geese there. <laughs> Picturesque. Look at that. Three geese on the left. I don't know if you see, but uh, I'm pointing on it. Oh, there. Okay. Look at the skyline. Ha! Huh, the sun is really. Oh, look at these! Look at these! Look at these geese! There you go. And the skyline again. Ha! Huh, the sun is so bright. Okay. And we are getting to highway again. Uh huh. So I think that's a gardeners already, those buildings you see, it's a gardeners and we are uh, near the Lake Ontario, uh, the mouth of Lake Ontario. Okay, you'll see more video later. Yes, as I was saying, uh, if you want to be uh, by yourself or you want to be uh, in a solitary stop, then you would have to kayak by yourself. Anyway, um, yep, we're heading towards the lake. And you will have to see more. Look at this guys, uh, we are now at the mouth of the uh, lake and just past the bridge, uh, the bridge of the Gardeners Expressway. And look at those things there, Though, those buildings and that road there is going uh, towards the downtown, the core of uh, uh, Toronto. And uh, again, uh, this is uh, the mouth of the lake here, uh, Lake Ontario. And uh, I wasn't able to cover uh, some of the other views a while ago because there was uh, a little uh, problem here. I have learned something that when you apply sunscreen on your face, don't put too much, especially uh, just above your eyes because I think they melted and they went to my eyes <laughs> and my eyes were irritated so for some time I cannot see uh, well I have to uh, wash them away so that you know I could see better and now I'm feeling better and I'm back to uh, cover the beautiful scenery that we are seeing now we do not know where our uh, other fellow kayakers and uh, canoers where they went but I believe we will be going back shortly. So look at this stunning uh, view again, uh, folks. And they see other people enjoy the sun. Some people uh, just doing cycling there on the bridge. Yeah. And look at this. Selena was saying that the water is, the, the color of the water is changing because it's from the river, mixing it with the lake. Well, it's different when uh, a fresh water mixed with the salt water. Uh, Guys, let's go all the way to New York. <laughs> to <Yeah>. Rochester, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this lake actually, when you go to the other side, it's New York. It's USA. I do not know if in the history there were people who made it, but I'm not sure. Uh, we, are no, we know that uh, at the end of this uh, lake is actually New York, uh, Rochester, uh, New York. Anyway, so, uh, wow. see, oh, there's a mess. we are under gardeners, uh, Alex was saying every time he does his biking or cycling on the bridge, like above the bridge, 
and now we are under the bridge <laughs> so yes I used to drive here this way too and now I am under the bridge uh, doing the kind of and under the bridge actually you see some uh, graffitis or like those paintings there they're nice they were they were, they, they were done nicely uh, artfully and I'll show you more later when we go to the other bridge. Uh, that's the gardeners and the lakeshore. Yeah, more graffiti on that other uh, bridge there. And we also some uh, we also saw some uh, birds nest. Oh yeah, good uh, art. How did the do the painting? I know. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> Look at that. You will see more of those graffitis later when we go to the other the side. Next bridge that might be yeah. You'll see more. Stand by. I'm cheating here because uh, my two uh, group mates are doing the paddling and I'm doing the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, we're coming up closer to the bridge where you'll see more graffiti. And somebody is doing uh, fishing. I do not know if it's allowed because here in uh, yes, because here in uh, Toronto you are not. I mean, there are Thai season for fishing, and you have to have a license to do fishing. Hi. This is a video. These are two of our group who is doing uh, kayaking, of course, and we exchange pictures. See you on the shore. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I have a YouTube and I'll give you my YouTube channel later. <laughs> yeah. And look at those graffiti there. What does it mean no wake? Uh, no wake? I don't know. Look at these drawings here. You would wonder uh, how they did it or like, you know, it took really... Uh, they made an effort to do these things here. Jomar, Jomra, I don't know. Whisper. Look at those. Nice. It may be graffiti, but they're nicely done. So it's shaded here, so not so much sun, of course, or no sun at all. It's bright. And uh, so here we are. And we are now paddling back. Okay, I have to help my team. I have to do the paddling as well. So we'll, we'll continue later. Okay, so as I was saying, it's a little uh, parking there for uh, those who just would like to plunge quickly. And there's somebody who's fishing there. And uh, this is the marina which we passed by a while ago. A little marina with uh, beautiful boats, of course. Jet skis, uh, and we're heading towards that way. That building you see in front of us is uh, actually Blur area, and that's where we are going back. That's where we started. And uh, I see not so much of our fellow kayakers and canoers. I believe most of them uh, are back already. Anyway, um, we'll see more as we are heading back and as we are ending our uh, canoe and kayak trip. Look at that guy, uh, it's a floating uh, boat, I mean floating house and the funny thing is there's a barbecue stand at the back. That's really cool. Yeah, so it's a private yacht club and uh, yeah, for sure it's, you know, there's a membership uh, for this uh, group here. Cool, cool. Yep. Getting. Yeah, that's uh, how we enjoy life. <laughs> that's what is called luxury. Exactly. Okay. Continue our paddling. Oh, we just finished. We are back to where we started, and here we are. Uh, the boat was taken by our by the staff, and it will be taken care of. It will be disinfected for the next users, and uh, we are about to return the things we use: the paddle, the floating device. And we're now about to go for our 
lunch with the group. So it was fun guys and I hope you will try it yourself here at the Humber River kayak canoe experience. Ciao!